Okay, so we are now ready to do the career site project portion of lesson 5.4. So again, when we open it up in 5.4, it's blank. So we're just going to start where we finished up 5.3 in our VS code. Okay, so it says first add three div tags to each of your HTML pages. The first div tag should go around the H1 title of the page and use the class header. So what I'm going to do, let me get set up and lock it again. So I'm going to go to both pages at the moment, index and job. So I'm going to go to H1. Above H1, I'm going to do div class header. And I'm going to cut that closing div tag. And put it below. Okay, I'm going to, just for indention, it makes it easier to see, I'm going to tap that over. So now my heading is inside a div tag. I'm going to do the same thing on the job info page. I'm going to find the heading. I'm going to do div class equals header. Close. I'm going to move the closing div tag after the closing h1 tag. You know, I'm just going to get my indentions fixed. Okay, so that was step one. The second div tag should go around the rest of the content on the page, except for the last link or the other um, to the other HTML page. Give it the class content. So I'm going to, since I'm in job info, I'm going to stay there. I'm going to do div class equals content. I'm going to cut my closing div tag. It's very important to have these in the right spot. So I'm going to do control X to cut it. And I'm going to paste it above where I have the link. So the link starts for me down here, this href index. So I'm going to put the closing div tag for this after the iframe, but before that. And again, to help me see it, everything in between, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to press the tab key to indent it over so that I can see that it's nested within this div tag. Okay, finally, the third div tag should go around the last link to the other HTML page, give it the class footer. So I'm going to come down here, div class equals footer. I'm going to cut that closing div tag. Paste it afterwards. Get my alignment right, my tabbing over, pressing the tab key. I'm going to tab over. So I just did the uh, content and footer for job info. I need to go back and do that for index now. So I'm going to come to index. So everything after that first div tag is going to be div class content ready and we're going to close it after that little paragraph we're going to indent everything inside so I highlighted it and press the tab key to indent, and then we're going to do div class footer. We're going to surround that link. So I'm going to tab over again. So we got one, two, three, and this is now let's set each of these div tags in style. So I'm going to come over to style. All right. And I'm going to add a rule for a header, making it a class. I'm going to do dot header, curly bracket. I'm going to press enter because I might have multiple things. All right. So it should have a solid border. So it says use border style. Um, it says use the same background color as the body. 
We're going to change the bodies in a little bit. Um, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to do just border and do it all three together. So I'm going to do two pixels, solid, and then my body is light blue. So I will keep that light blue. Okay, we're going to do all that together. All right, the class content, I'm going to do dot content. We have the same background color as the body, so I'll do background color light blue. That's what I used before. Whatever you're using, just keep using it. A height of 80%, so I'm going to do height. 80, notice it's a percent this time, not pixels. A width. 70% and then I'm going to create a class for the footer to dot footer the same background color as the bodies okay that was really insightful um, all right now we're going to change the background color of the body and it said find a picture related to your job set it as the background image um, this step can be really tricky. Um, especially if it uh, is not a good image. For this step, I would just say, let's go back and change our body background color to just something different. Um, for now, not that that's difficult to do. It's just difficult to, well, because then you want to make it clear. It's just going to look bad. Um, I'm going to change mine to a different light color. I'm just going to do beige for the body background, just so you can see the contrasting styles. Um, and we'll do that differently. Um, so anybody that wants to learn how to do the image, I'll probably do a separate. That might be something I show you in class how to do. Because um, there's also a trick that you want to change the opacity of the image so that it's more transparent. Otherwise, it just does not look good when you have a background image a lot of times. Um, Okay, so when I, I think I am finished now, but I'm probably going to get in trouble with Code HS for not having a background image, but we'll just move on from there. So let's go ahead and copy our index. We'll copy our job info. And we'll copy our style. Okay, and I'm going to save all of my VS Code information. So I'm going to save, and just to get a look, I'm going to go to output in the index. And there's a it seems to be a bit of a delay, so some of this information is not coming. I am linking the style sheet. I do have a beige background color, so of course everything's not working correctly. When I click submit. Okay, still met the requirements, so we're good to go. All right, and we have finished the div lesson. Also, our recorded lesson for finishing div and our project, so we are good to go.